America, we've got a dangerous new weapon in our hands. It's being used in schools, homes, and even the White House. It's the selfie stick. Using them can lead to serious injuries with devastating consequences. It's time to confront selfie stick safety, unfiltered. For years, scientists struggled to find a cure for the crippling muscular injuries caused by selfie overextension. Hence, the selfie stick was born. I got my girlfriend a selfie stick for Christmas and she insta-loved it. She could finally capture her entire bikini bod from those super high and super flattering angles. <sighs> Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. In the beginning, she used it for lots of things like exploring the great outdoors, chillaxing at home, or even after she had surgery. One Saturday though, she took it one selfie too far. Hey. I looked to the camera on instant, then BAM! I blame myself. I bought her the damn thing. I, if the doctors took this out of me, I, I could die. And I, I just can't do that to her. I'd rather just live like this, on her bay. You may be thinking, this could never happen to me. But it can. I'm living proof. What? Have you never seen a girl with a selfie stick through her head before? So what can you do? You can help spread a message of hope by taking selfies by arm, the way MySpace and Kim Kardashian intended. Or you could just nicely ask a random stranger to take a picture of you. We learned our lesson. Now we're doing our part to end selfie stick fails. One more bay, for old time's sake. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs>